About two weeks ago, the world celebrated the new year, ushering in the great and anticipated for 2020. However, this week we shall be celebrating the Chinese New Year, popularly known as the Spring Festival, where most of the Chinese will be observing their new year that they're calling the Year of the Rat. We will be knowing in a few minutes why it is called that and what is the significance of the Year of the Rat. Right now, I am here at the Greenwood Restaurant, located in Nairobi, the Kenya capital, where we will be speaking to the Chinese working here and even some of the Kenyans who are working here to let us know what they feel and how they anticipate for the Spring Festival. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Please start with a small introduction of yourself. Uh, my name is Chie Li, and uh, this is uh, the Greens Wood Grill and Lounge. Mm -hmm. We run it since 2017 until now. Uh, actually, we are two years old. Okay, yeah. that's very nice. Please tell me, what is your plan for celebrating the Spring Festival and how do you usually celebrate it? Uh, actually, the Spring Festival is, is uh, very important for Chinese and uh, we are planning to invite all of the best friends come to the restaurant with our local staffs. Uh, we are going to give them a special menu uh, to celebrate. Okay. Um, as as we, we go in and see a bit of the restaurants, perhaps you can tell us what is the, what is the, what, what kind of dishes are specifically uh, served during the Spring Festival? Uh, actually, uh, this might be a secret, but I don't mind to tell you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are cooking the most traditional Chinese food here mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we are talking about uh, having a, a special menu, we are talking about cultures. So we are offering the best traditional Chinese food uh, to not only Chinese, but Kenyans. Okay. Uh, I, heard, I heard dumplings are also, uh, are yeah. also usually eaten during the spring festival. Yeah. Is there another maybe specific kind of dish? Yes, dumplings means reunion itself. So we are making dumplings handmade by ourselves, and then we are sharing with our friends. So it's a good blessing. Um, I don't know how the, the, maybe going by experience, you've said you've been working, we've been running this restaurant from 2017. Would you say the Kenyans are also excited to celebrate the Spring Festival with you? Yeah, of, of course. Because they, uh, slowly by slowly, they get to know us, they get to know the Chi more Chinese cultures. So they are very excited to see what is really a Spring Festival means. Uh, okay. And uh, what about for your staff? How will you be celebrating the Chinese uh, Spring Festival with them? Uh, we're just expecting that day to come, and then we will view a, a, a big secret for them. There will be bonus, there will be uh, prizes as well for them to thank, to thank them for the one, past one year hard working. Okay. Uh, uh, perhaps you can tell us, um, each year you have got uh, different animals that you celebrate. What does the year of the rat mean? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, the rat is the first animal leading to the, uh, to the coming 11. So it is, uh, we, we always say, the good blessings from the start. So it's one of the best year. And it's 2020, it's uh, the first year of another decade. So it means we refresh from the start and then we are doing all the best in the, uh, in the coming next 10 years. Okay. Um, I like that uh, just looking around here, I have seen there's a lot of um, uh, exchanges between the local people and the Chinese people. That means that there's a fusion of cultures. Um, do you maybe plan that day to explain some of the culture to some of the Kenyan uh, customers who are going to be coming in? And um, in your experience, which, which is part of their favorite Chinese food? Uh, actually, there is, a, 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 there is one dish that we always introduce to the international, including Kenyans, is potato shreds. Actually, there is a difference between fries and potato shreds. Ours is more healthy and more tasty. So I would like to recommend that one to all of the uh, non-Chinese, and they love it, frankly. They love it at all. Uh, what about sweet and sour pork? It's one of my favorites, actually. <laughs> yeah, that one, because of the flavor, what I'm talking about is to cook a food in a different way that to make more healthy and tasty. Uh, sweet and sour pork or sweet and sour fish, of course, is one of the favorite for all of the foreigners. Mm -hmm. 
Uh. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so what would you say, what would you like to see happening between the Chinese and the Kenyans, maybe in the near future? What is your wish? Just your personal opinion. Uh, what I can see is uh, the two countries became more and more closer to each other. And we always try to follow our country's uh, policy and wish to bring more industries, not only trading, to bring more industries grow, root, uh, grow in Kenya. So there will be less and less gap between China and Kenya. So that is what we want to see. So m maybe uh, there's some viewers who are watching this clip right now and they don't know so much about the Spring Festival. Maybe you can explain from which date to which date, how many days will the celebrations be like? Uh, what usually do the Chinese people do during this? Uh, do they travel? What, what is it about? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a pity for us because most of the Chinese, by the Spring Festival, they go home to celebrate with their families, but we cannot as we located here. This is our home already. So most of the Chinese will start from 25th up to one week later after uh, as a Chinese New Year holiday. They will celebrate with their families. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, perhaps, I don't know whether we can, um, we can talk to one of the staff, they tell us how they enjoy uh, celebrating the Spring sure, Festival. Sure. Or maybe you can introduce one. <laughs> Uh, please introduce yourself. My name is Florence Michali. Mm -hmm. uh, I work here for now is two years here. And I'm happy because I'm back here. We hand live when we are here. We are happy. Everybody is happy. The staff, we are all happy. We appreciate him so much. Okay. Thank you very much. So tell me, are you excited about the Spring Festival? And uh, what if you've worked here for two years, it means it's, not, it's now the second or the third Spring Festival you're going to be celebrating. It will be the third one, mm -hmm. yeah. So what do you like about Spring Festival? I like it because so many people come when we appreciate them, we come, we serve the food, then they, they enjoy our food, they enjoy everything which is here, so we are happy when the festival comes. Okay. Do you like uh, Chinese dishes yourself? And if so, which one is your favorite? Hey, my favorite one is the fish there, but there's a big fish. We <laughs> like it, I like it so much. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. That fish is a big one, so I like it so much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there you have it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we will be looking forward to celebrate the Spring Festival together with our Chinese counterparts.